Hello everyone. Today, we will continue on learning subtopic 7.1, Composition of Air. If you haven't watched my previous teaching video, you may click the link given in the description down below. Okay, so in this second part of composition of air, subtopic 7.1, we will learn about carbon cycle and oxygen cycle. And then we will look at problems if there is interference. Okay, interference meaning to say gangguan, all right, to the oxygen and also carbon cycle. So without wasting our time, let us first look at carbon cycle. Okay, so what is carbon cycle? So carbon cycle is a cycle, kitaran, okay, that maintains the content of carbon dioxide in the air by continuously taking carbon dioxide from the air and return it to the air. Okay, so carbon cycle ini adalah satu kitaran, kitaran yang berterusan, okay, di mana you take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and then you use it and then you return it back to the atmosphere. So we have different processes in which we use carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and then we have process that also release carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. Okay. Okay, now let us look at this diagram. So this diagram is taken from your textbook all right so the blue arrow here indicates the use of carbon dioxide okay guna carbon dioxida the use of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere whereas the red arrow here the red one indicates the release of carbon dioxide okay so first we start with the green plants so the green plants absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to undergo the process of photosynthesis. Remember that we had learned the process of photosynthesis in chapter 2. Okay, So how the carbon dioxide is returned to the atmosphere? So here we have three processes that gives out carbon dioxide which are decomposition by the bacteria and also the fungus in the soil, okay, decompose the animals and the green plants that and then decomposition process starts. So it releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, okay. The process of respiration by living organisms such as animal, green plants and also humans also release carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And the third activity would be the burning of the fossil fuels, okay? So we have fossil fuels, example here, petroleum, natural gas, and also coal. So the burning of fossil fuels also release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, okay? And then the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is absorbed by the plant, is used by the plant for the process of photosynthesis. So from this picture, we can say that the process of decomposition, respiration, and also burning of fossil fuels all release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and is balanced by the photosynthesis process which absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Okay, so this one I already explained in the previous slide. Okay, now we look at oxygen cycle. So what is oxygen cycle? It is a continuous cycle that takes oxygen from the air and returns it to the air also. So let us further look into the diagram. Alright, so in the oxygen cycle, the red arrow here indicates the use of oxygen okay guna oxygen process yang menggunakan oxygen whereas the blue arrow here indicates 
the release of oxygen. Okay. Mengembalikan oksigen ke udara. Alright. So, what we have here. So, from the diagram here, we have three processes that use oxygen. Okay. The process are respiration by living organisms such as animals and also green plants and also us humans. Okay, we respire. So, we use oxygen from the atmosphere. And then we also have combustion, pembakaran. Okay, and then we have rusting, pengaratan. Also require oxygen. Also use oxygen from atmosphere and all of this process okay will give out carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide return back to the atmosphere and we also have the process of decomposition of waste materials and dead organisms also using oxygen and release carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere so, how can we replace the oxygen that is lost from the atmosphere? We have the process of photosynthesis, which is done by the plants. Okay? So, this means that oxygen cycle and also carbon cycle, they are interrelated to one another. Saling berkaitan. Okay? Alright, so that one. Oxygen needed in respiration, rusting, combustion, and decomposition is obtained from photosynthesis. So we have four processes altogether. We have respiration, rusting, combustion, and decomposition that use oxygen from the atmosphere. And all of this process returns carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Okay, now we look at the second objective for today. Ways to prevent interferences in the oxygen and also carbon cycle. Okay, gangguan terhadap oksigen dan juga kitaran karbon. Okay, so first we will look at what are the examples of human activities that can cause interferences in the oxygen and also carbon cycle. Okay, so example here we have air pollution. Okay, we have smoke from the factories or vehicles. And then there might be people doing open burning or forest fire. So all of these activities can cause an increased amount of carbon dioxide released into the air. So this means the carbon cycle is not balanced because there are a lot of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere okay other than air pollution we also have deforestation okay so deforestation activities leads to decreased amount of oxygen in the air because we have cut down the tree so there will be less tree that absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and release oxygen into the atmosphere okay so those are among of the activities that can cause interferences in oxygen and carbon cycle. Okay, so what are the impacts of the interference? So one of it will be the greenhouse effect. Okay, so high carbon dioxide in the atmosphere will trap the heat from the sun. Okay, so this will lead to increase in the earth temperature. So we call that as global warming, pemanasan global. So what is the effect of global warming? Okay, the effect will be the melting of ice in the north and also the south poles. Okay, di kawasan kutub utara dan juga kutub selatan akan mengalami pencairan, pencairan ice. Okay, and it may cause the low-lying areas to flood. Okay. So, how can we help to reduce interferences of oxygen and carbon cycle? Okay, so here we have reforestation. Okay, reforestation where we plant trees. Okay, penanaman semula, pokok. And then we also can 
avoid using excessive pesticide. Okay, pesticide ialah racun serangga so that we can reduce the release of harmful gases into the atmosphere. Other than that, we also can uh, prevent excessive release of smog from vehicles. For example, installing smog catalytic converter. Or for factories, we can install filters at the chimneys. Okay, And then for deforestation, we can prohibit illegal logging. How we can do that? We can find the irresponsible individuals that cut the trees. Another method that we can help to reduce the interference of the carbon cycle and oxygen cycle is by not burning the forest or not burning the trees. Okay, okay so that's the end of my second video. So I hope you stay tuned to my next video. Thank you.